Now look, quick counter is all about being aggressive and literally just bombing the ball forward. When you don't have the ball, you're going to be super aggressive in getting it back. When you do have the ball, you're going to be just pumping forward as fast as you can, as quickly as you can. You'll see here we're messing around, we're going out wide and we're kind of messing trying to get the ball in and just flicking around. But then when we actually do get the ball back here, you'll see it's like four passes in quick succession and then it's a goal, right? Right here. Boom, boom boom, boom, touch and go, and then it's in the back of the net. And it's as easy as that with quick counter, and that's how you need to play it. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. A lot of people asking me for this video, so here it is, a quick counter gameplay breakdown. I think this is probably the most overpowered uh, tactic that you can use. We're going to be showing you a couple of tips and tricks and the best formation as well. So as you can see here, we are playing now with a quick counter. Our team play style level has gone to 97, but we will be fixing that up in just a few minutes as well as the squad. We'll be fixing our starting 11. So we're going to be playing pretty much a kind of a Barcelona 4-3-3. Um, that's kind of how I call it. So you've got your Holden DMF anchorman and you've got your central midfielder, which is going to be your creative box-to-box uh, -box engine man. And then, of course, you're going to have your AMF. And then up top, you're going to either have your left or right wingers or your two SSs or two center forwards and an SS. You're going to have three center backs or else a left and a right back, as you see here. We'll show you the finalized squad in just a couple of minutes. I'm just kind of sorting this out and, and uh, introducing what this video is going to be about, right? So if you are playing, right, we're going to have a bit of a gameplay breakdown here. I'm going to keep it in real time. I'm not going to break down or overanalyze a lot of this because to be honest with you lads, quick counter is definitely the easiest play style. I've played a lot of different play styles. I use out wide and possession. I switch between the two of those. But quick counter, man, the AI makes runs for you super, super aggressively. There's just so much um, that you're able to get away with in terms of mistakes and stuff. And the AI just picks up a load of positions. You're going to see clip upon clip where the match literally lasts five or six minutes in the golden goal match. I'm going to have a video on that quite soon as well. A lot of people ask me about it. But if you go in and you look at some of the top players in the world, right? We're looking at the number one, the number seven player in the world. You can see here that he's using Klopp as manager. You've got Zeitzler there. You've got Neymar, Romanegi, and Messi up front. So this is kind of the meta. You've got your three center backs, your three center forwards, and then you've got your Barcelona midfield or your three man midfield. DMF, anchorman, um, your CMF, which is your orchestrator, or else your box to box, depending on your play style, and then either another CMF or an AMF that's going to be your whole whole player that's going to be able to sit between um, you know midfield and the center forwards and be able to link up everything. We also take a look at rank number fifteen, Red Mamba. He is an absolute beast at the game as well, and he's using Klopp as his manager, which is going to be quick counter. And then, of course, we've got that same meta. We've got the three center backs. We've got the Holden DMF. We've got a center midfielder in Matthaus. And we've got Messi, who is going to be our AMF. So, like, look, lads, basically, at the end of the day, right, some things work in the game and some things don't, right? Possession and out wide play style. I know for a fact I make it harder on myself because I enjoy playing out wide. The game doesn't really reward you. Yeah, you can get space out wide and you can do a lot of tricks and you can get a lot of nice cutback goals and stuff. But compared to the direct approach, Pez has had that issue with the unbalanced directness of the gameplay through the middle for a long time. Now, I don't think it's as bad in eFootball 23 at the moment, um, but this formation is the meta. This is a very easy formation to use. These guys, obviously, that are top 50, top 100, top 500 in the world are absolute beasts on the sticks. It takes nothing away from their skill level. Um, but as we go through these guys, you will notice a pattern the whole time. And you're going to have also that pattern with long ball counter, which we'll be doing a gameplay breakdown of next as well. So here's a slight modification of it. You've got the same midfield. You've got your right and left fullbacks, and then you've got your two wingers. Now, I reckon that Messi will probably slot in a bit um, because I'm going to show you how I will set this team up now as well. But that's all that you're going to be doing. I've highlighted a couple of the players there that you're going to be using, that you're going to be like analyzing as we go on it. So the first thing we want to do, right, when we're building any squad is to get the best manager in that formation. I'm kind of screwed with the out wide, but for a uh, quick counter, we do have Klopp, which is one of the highest rated managers with an 87 quick counter formation and play style proficiency, right? So this means that you're going to be able to have less play style proficiency in your players because your manager is going to overwrite that and bring up the overall. So you can see there that we have got Gasparini, 
who's got 80 overall, when we switch to Klopp, it goes from 97 to 99 without changing any players in the squad. So when we actually go in and properly do our squad now, which we'll show you in a second, we're going to have this at either 98, 99 or 100, depending on who we play. We can bring in a couple of different players, right? And this is what this formation is all about, man. This is what this formation, these tactics are all about. It suits aggressive base players, a lot of one-touch passing, a lot of touching goals. You'll see here, pass from the center, to Mbappe, run on, lovely ball through from Guti, and then it's a simple one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, slots it over, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, boom. Job done, five minutes, easy peasy. And that's kind of what you're going to be looking for with this quick counter formation. Again, it's all about turning over possession. It's all about being aggressive. It's all about pressing. It's all about blocking the passing lanes. And when you get the ball, it doesn't matter whether you get it in the backs position here or you get it in midfield as Makaleli looks to spread this out here to Ronaldinho. And then we're going to spread it around in through the middle of the pitch again. Zico, I even make a massive mistake here, but my players don't really seem to care about that. All they're interested is hunting the ball down like a pack of wolves, trying to get the ball back as quickly as possible. Now, look, you still need to be good. You still need to be able to block passing lanes as we do there. But the game does really reward this play style, in my opinion. That's another win there for us in within, what, six, seven minutes in the golden goal uh, matchup in the event of that. And you'll just see time and time again, like, look at the AI run here, right? Ball uh, messing around here with Makaleli. I just hold the ball, spread it out wide to Guti, who's picked up that slot, even though he's playing as an AMF. Back into Makaleli. We're going to spread it out far out wide. Even though we're not playing any out wide or any wing play here, it's still opening up positions for us. Zico gets the ball in. I make a huge mistake here. Overturn it again. The minute I overturn it, it's all quick passing. We make a mistake. Now, pass, 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 pass goal boom see how direct it is it's just super direct there's no you saw there in the first couple of minutes i'm you know spraying it out wide passing the ball around but look when you start opening this up and you go direct right this guy clears the ball he's not under any pressure really here i'm just going to look to turn him over as quickly as i possibly can he plays the ball into a bad position he keeps playing the ball into a bad position and then he makes the mistake so that's what it's all about and then when we get the ball with the quick counter, you're going to see my AI just completely dominate here. Like, look at this. Pass out to Zico. Yeah, nice little couple of tricks. Turns. Little trick move. Finesse. Curl shot. And then Messi gets the rebound. But it's just all about aggressive turning players over. And then when you turn players over, just literally going, you know, attacking with as many players as you want. Again, the same thing here. Mbappe picks up a spot straight away from the kickoff. And then we get the, inter the rebound from Guti. So yeah, look lads, that is quick counter, a breakdown of that. I've done pretty much all that's covered in it. We've done tactics formations in the other video. If you've missed that, check it out. But from that, I do think that if you are an aggressive base player and you like scoring lots of goals, it's definitely a formation. Get Klopp as a manager and then set your formation up with a load of options and then just be comfortable enough on the ball. A lot of your players need to have one touch pass as well, um, but that's not a huge deal. So yeah, a lot of the players obviously depends on you know, as we're seeing in this screen here, it depends on the players. You can see as I'm going through the squad there that we have, it does depend on the players. So, you know, you're going to want to have players that have one touch pass. You're going to have one players that have high offensive awareness because they'll push forward more and you're going to concede goals, but it's all about turning over. So you want aggressive base players as well. So that is it for me, lads. Let me know what formation you guys use. Let me know if you enjoyed this. We still have out wide and long ball to come as well as long ball counter. And I'll be back in a bit. Peace.